My name is Michelle Bomberger. I'm the managing attorney at Equinox Business Law Group. Um, we're a law firm that focuses on businesses as they start up, grow, and change and plan for their exit. Um, we do a monthly program here, and we thank the partners group for hosting us. Um, there's no one here from the partners group today, but they're so generous in letting us use this space. Our program this morning is on compensation and how to retain your best employees. Um, Catherine Dovey will be guest speaking with me. Catherine is with a company called Compensation Works, and uh, she's one of the more well-regarded and well-known um, compensation folks in town, and her program is gonna focus on trends and tools and different ways to think about uh, compensation. And I was gonna focus a little bit more on the, the how-to and what we're seeing as far as, as trends within the business. As I mentioned, how to retain your best employees. The, the things that I, was, that I wanted to cover is the focus on, on incentives. And we all kind of know this, right? Um, traditionally, compensation has been you know, money-based. And as we look at the workforce, as we look at the kinds of people we have in our companies, from the 25-year-old you know, to the 65-year-old, their incentives are different. And so we're able to tailor compensation in some ways to address their incentives and their needs. So how do we think about the incentives that, that are um, driven by those people and where they are in their lives? Um, the second point is tools available. What tools do we have available as far as compensating folks? Again, traditionally it's money and benefits. Well, can we expand that? Are there other things available that we can use to help drive the incentives and the behaviors that we want? And then kind of what we're seeing in our business, um, as business attorneys, we work with companies as they're, they're thinking about implementing these tools. And in implementing these tools, formalizing the processes around them. So what does that mean and how do you do that so that you're protecting the business at the same time that you're offering these, these benefits? Um, and then the protecting the business piece is um, looking at, again, how these formalized tools are going to be implemented in order to protect the business and the employee. So, so what behavior do you want from your employees? And just kind of brainstorm. Anyone have any ideas? What are we driving with, with compensation? Longevity. Longevity. People want to replace to act like owners. Acting like owners. That's a really, really good one. We see that a lot. Yeah, I was going to say that you want your employees to take ownership of their job. It's, you know, they're not obviously not going to take as much as what the owner has or the manager. But if they take ownership and pride in their job, they're going to be better employees. Yeah. Other ideas? What does it mean to act like an owner? I mean, you both kind of had different variant variations on that. So what does that mean to you, to act like an owner? We want them to treat the extensions like their peers. We want them to um, have a good business case before making a decision. So uh, three, three things there that I, th I think are all really interesting. Be um, successful. What's that? Be successful. Be successful. The business to be successful. Um, making smart decisions from a financial standpoint with a good business case and cost reduction in kind of in mind. Um, and then growing the business as well. So if those are the behaviors we want, what drives different employees? You know, we think about um, commission-based models for sales <coughs> folks, right? And the, the connection seems obvious, the sell more, make more money. And for some people that works beautifully, but for other folks it just doesn't. That's not their incentive. They are in a place in their lives where they don't want more money. They'd rather have more time. Or they're in a place in their lives where money is everything and that base salary of whatever it is isn't sufficient and that commission is gonna be more than, than the base salary and what they really need to grow. So. I heard some of these things, money, feeling valuable. And then the third piece that we're, we've seen a lot, especially with the younger generation, is this giving back, this feeling that your company cares about the same things that you care about, that the value system is the same. And so you're seeing more and more companies that are um, focused on charitable giving and allowing employees to participate in that as well as the company participating. And so that's becoming another, another kind of motivation that is linked to some of the, the benefits. 